Chapter 7 Then this message came to me from the Lord. Son of man, this is what the Sovereign Lord says to Israel. The end is here. Wherever you look, east, west, north, or south, your land is finished. No hope remains, for I will unleash my anger against you. I will call you to account for all your disgusting behavior. I will turn my eyes away and show no pity, repaying you in full for all your evil. Then you will know that I am the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. With one blow after another, I will bring total disaster. The end has come. It has finally arrived. Your final doom is waiting. O people of Israel, the day of your destruction is dawning. The time has come. The day of trouble is near. It will ring with shouts of anguish, not shouts of joy. Soon I will pour out my fury to complete your punishment for all your disgusting behavior. I will neither spare nor pity you. I will repay you for all your detestable practices. Then you will know that it is I, the Lord, who is striking the blow. The day of judgment is here. Your destruction awaits. The people's wickedness and pride have reached a climax. Their violence will fall back on them as punishment for their wickedness. None of these proud and wicked people will survive. All their wealth will be swept away. Yes, the time has come. The day is here. There is no reason for buyers to rejoice over the bargains they find, or for sellers to grieve over their losses, for all of them will fall under my terrible anger. And if any merchant should survive, they will never return to their business. For what God has said applies to every one. It will not be changed. Not one person whose life is twisted by sin will recover. The trumpets call Israel's army to mobilize, but no one listens, for my fury is against them all. Any who leave the city walls will be killed by enemy swords. Those who stay inside will die of famine and disease. The few who survive and escape to the mountains will moan like doves, weeping for their sins. Everyone's hands will be feeble, their knees will be as weak as water, they will dress themselves in sackcloth. Horror and shame will cover them. They will shave their heads in sorrow and remorse. They will throw away their money, tossing it out like worthless trash. It won't buy their deliverance in that day of the Lord's anger. It will neither satisfy nor feed them, for their love of money made them stumble into sin. They were proud of their gold jewelry and used it to make vile and detestable idols. That is why I will make all their wealth disgusting to them. I will give it as plunder to foreigners from the most wicked of nations, and they will defile it. I will hide my eyes as these robbers invade my treasured land and corrupt it. Prepare chains for my people, for the land is bloodied by terrible crimes. Jerusalem is filled with violence. I will bring the most ruthless of nations to occupy their homes. I will break down their proud fortresses and defile their sanctuaries. Terror and trembling will overcome my people. They will look for peace, but will not find it. Calamity will follow calamity. Rumor will follow rumor. They will look in vain for a vision from the prophets. They will receive no teaching from the priests and no counsel from the leaders. The king and the prince will stand helpless, weeping in despair, and the people's hands will tremble with fear. I will bring against them the evil they have done to others, and they will receive the punishment they so richly deserve. Then they will know that I am the Lord.'"